Yeah. Hi, uh, students. Um, this is Omuyo Yosam. Uh, we are having an uh, economics mean uh, lecture on a topic monopoly market uh, for senior five. I'm a student of uh, Aga Khan University. Um, I in the East Africa, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, specializing in uh, educational management and uh, leadership. Uh, to, before we move further, we need to look at uh, the introduction. Uh, what is monopoly and then how is monopoly created and then the barriers to entry and then lastly we shall have conclusion. Yeah, what is the monopoly market? Before we look at monopoly market, we need to look at what market means. Market is a place where sellers and buyers meet to negotiate on goods and services. Um, you will find out that uh, before you come up with the, the definition of monopoly market, after now knowing what a market is, then monopoly market therefore is a market structure in which there is a single seller selling goods to multiple of buyers. And in this case, the commodity that this seller sells should have no closed substitutes. Substitute goods are those goods which serve the same purpose. For example, you have goods like coffee and tea. See, when there is a no coffee, and then you can do very, very well with the um, coffee, I mean, I, mean, I mean tea. So in this case, monopoly market is where the, 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 the seller sells the goods which have no clothes, substitutes. Um, who actually creates monopolies? Monopolies often arise as a result of barriers to entry. What do we mean by barriers? Barriers are hindrances or any restriction which actually makes the firm not to enter in an industry. So we say such is, uh, such is called a, a barrier. Uh, what are the causes of barriers? We have uh, three classes of barriers. One, we have barriers created due to economies of scale. And then we have barriers created as a result of actions by firms. And then we have uh, uh, barriers due to the government practice. And then let's, let's look at the barriers which are created by economies of scale. Economies of scale is actually the advantage which any incumbent farm enjoys as a result of operating on a large uh, scale. As you can see on, uh, on the, the, the photograph there, there is a, a tractor there which is plowing uh, a vast land and in this case uh, there will be large production of goods which a small farm cannot do. So when a farm is in that kind of state, you find that small farmers will not be able to manage such kind of uh, business, hence creating uh, the, the farm monopoly uh, status. Then we we'll look at uh, the actions by farms, actions by farms. Uh, when a farm owns in a sense of commodity, a sense of commodity, or singly, you will find that the other farms will be unable to get uh, that a sense of commodity. In which case, this farm will enjoy monopoly status because other farms will not be able to have access to this particular resource. You can look at example of uh, Microsoft Windows. Any other farm cannot access the Microsoft Windows and in which case it, it gives them that uh, monopoly uh, monopoly power. You see, the actions of the farms are, are caused due to discoveries. When a farm discovers a particular or a sense of commodity, then others will not be able to uh, join the, the farm. Uh, then you will find that the government also participates very much in the, in the creation of monopolies. How does the government do this? 
the government oftentimes provide protection, protection to the farms and the individuals that come with the discoveries. See, when, any, uh, when a farm comes up with a discovery, then the government gives opportunity for this farm to enjoy for a particular period of time. And this protection can be uh, in form of, um, in form of uh, patent rights or copy rights. As you can see on the photograph there, there is that patent right. No other farm will produce such a similar item. The government will bar some other farms to produce such kind of hope. Um, the, the, the commodity. So in which case the farm becomes a, uh, a monopoly. Now in conclusion, we say, what have we learned? We learned definition of monopoly market, then we learned how monopoly farms are created, and then food for thought. Can monopoly market exist in a free market economy? So we shall look at that one when we uh, look at it next time. Thank you. Asambeni sana.